This is part 3 of my 100 days in Grounded. This video will cover days 21 to 30. Apologies for the delay on this video. The next parts after this will be much quicker and I promise I will get them all released before the full release of the game. Day 21. I started day 21 by making some more sap catchers and then collect a mega milk molar from the battery room in the oak lab. I made the switch from koi armor to ladybug armor and began upgrading it. I did this because ladybug armor provides much more protection and its sleek bonus is increasing healing, which is also great. I made a bed and then analyzed bug rubber, which unlocked level nine of brain power. Day 22. I managed to get the sleek upgrade on the ladybug armor and then headed to the haze to grab some quartzite. I broke an ice caps mint, grabbed 500 raw science, and then grabbed more quartzite. And then arrived at the trash heap. I found a giant pile of Billy Hog nuggets. I think this is a bug currently, where the black ants grab a nugget from the food, and then when they try to take it back to the nest, they drop it because they go through water and they can't carry items in water. I picked up some more raw science, a mega milk molar, an ice caps mint, and a milk molar. I headed to the entrance of the anthill and killed a black ant soldier. I got some raw science and then headed into the trash can to grab the crusty roly poly helmet, but it wasn't there. What? Confused, I continued into the trash can, grabbing a mega milk molar, a hot char chars candy, and some ice caps mints. I grabbed two more hot char chars candies and ate a spicy shard, unlocking tier one of spicy safety. Too hot? Too spicy? Hot, hot. As you can see, there's a lot of raw science in the trash can. I broke another milk molar, then another hot char chars candy, and then another milk molar again. I killed a sickly roly poly, giving me six roly poly parts and some bug gloop. I also unlocked tier 2 of spicy safety while killing him. I then killed another sickly roly poly, giving me another 5 parts. These parts are useful for making repair glue, which you use to repair high level tools later in the game. And you only need 2 parts per repair glue. Day 23. I began the day by heading into the lava cave. I then proceeded to kill all of the lava in the cave, allowing me to collect all of the quartzite shards inside. I made a torch so that I could see and proceeded to break the quartzite. While exploring the cave, I found some raw science as well as a field station with two granola bars and a tape. I then went to the underwater portion of the cave, allowing me to collect a scabby as well as a mega milk molar. I used a bomb to blow up the cracked rock, giving me access to the upper yard. I grabbed some raw science and was ambushed by a ladybird lava. This might be the most annoying creature in the game, but eventually I was able to kill it and get some bug glue. Next, I killed a bunch of dust mites in the ravine, as I wanted the fuzz to make splinter arrows later on. While here, I also grabbed the mints from the mint box. I found some more raw science and then killed a random termite soldier, as I needed their parts for a tier 3 axe. I killed another termite soldier, then a termite, then another soldier, giving me all the parts I needed. I picked up the secret bag at the termite nest that contains five twinkling shells. Hey, stop! Thief! It's mine! Guards! Guards! And headed inside. Unfortunately, I had to leave as all of my weapons were broken, giving me no way to kill the termites. I made myself a workbench and this allowed me to craft the tier 3 axe, one of the best mid-game weapons. With my new weapon, I headed onto the step to kill some ants as I needed parts to repair my shield. Day 24. I headed the doormat and used my new axe to collect all of the lint as we would need it for lint rope later on. I also found three mints in a cup, so I broke them all and collected them. I parkoured to the top of a plant for 500 raw science. Parkour! I then climbed the metal chair and got the same amount. I used the ant parts I had collected to make a tier 2 shovel, which meant we could now dig up buried treasure. I scanned some lint, which unlocked level 10 brain power. Yeah, this is big brain time. 
On the way home, I grabbed a milk molar. Once home, I made the mosquito needle to help fight the termites. Day 25. I then made a bunch of chests to expand our storage, now that we had found so many new items in the upper yard. I then used the ASL to spend our milk molars and increase our max active mutations to five, making us more powerful than ever. I also spent our Mega Milk Molars to increase max resource stack size. Since we had almost 17k raw science, I decided to spend 5k on the Milk Molar Scanner, meaning the game would tell us when there was a Milk Molar nearby. Day 26, after killing a Bombardier, I unlocked Tier 2 of the Chopper Mutation. Get to the chopper! I grabbed a Milk Molar and then another Milk Molar before jumping into some raw science right next to a Wolf Spider. Ooh, you're hard. I found another Mega Milk Molar in the barbecue and almost sizzled while collecting it. With my new Tier 3 axe, I headed back to the ravine in the upper yard and gathered some pupa. I also found some salt, which I harvested while I was here. While digging for treasure, I found a chest, which contained a lot of goodies. I was also able to dig up a Char Char's candy, which we'd need for a certain Tier 3 weapon later on. I collected more pupa, and then found another buried treasure chest, which had even more loot, including some gum nuggets, which are pretty hard to find. I dug up another Char Char's candy, and then grabbed yet another Mega Milk Molar. I farmed all of the pupa I could find, and then unlocked Tier 3 of Cardiofan, whilst fighting a Ladybird Lava. I found another mint box containing more mints, and also managed to dig up some salt. I decided to try and fight a Black Ox Beetle. It hurt me. A lot. I managed to get this ladybird lava to hit it, meaning it was now a 2 versus 1. The ladybird lava gave me a big enough advantage to be able to take out the black ox beetle, but sadly died right before the beetle did. Rest in peace. I paid tribute to the ladybird lava before harvesting his remains, along with the black ox beetle. I was rudely attacked by another ladybird lava, and goddamn these guys are too strong. Please nerf them, devs. I got some raw science from a cave and grabbed my stuff. I took revenge on the ladybird lava and unlocked tier 1 of Blade Master in the process. I managed to parkour into a pipe in the ravine and found 500 raw science as well as a milk molar. On my way home, I grabbed the Frankenlein scabby from the top of the Frankenlein machine. I found some raw science in the plant pot and then saw a very strange sight. There's a grub buried in a lily pad? What is going on here? Day 27, I used the ASL to spend my milk molars, increasing both my max health and max stamina. I then spent the megas on increasing the max consumable stack size. While collecting quartzite in the oak lab, I was able to unlock tier 3 of rock cracker, fully completing another mutation. I've made four more drying racks to help dry out all of the pupa we had just collected. On my way back to the oak lab, I saw a wolf spider stuck at the entrance. He also saw me, so I had to quickly take him out, which unlocked the first tier of myth ridditism. This was our first wolf spider kill. I did some plant parkour as I wanted to collect some nectar from within them. Nectar is one of the most scarce resources in the game, but is needed for the spider slider, which is a great meal. Day 28, I headed back to the upper yard and prepared myself to collect some hot charcoal. Clearly, I wasn't prepared enough. I came back, grabbed my stuff, and then headed to grab the milk molar in the charcoal bag. Then, with my newly crafted mosquito needle equipped, I headed back to the termite den. I used my tier 3 axe to collect some splinters as I needed to analyse them for my brain power. While inside the nest, I grabbed some raw science, broke another milk molar, and then headed for the king's chamber. I grabbed some raw science on the way in, grabbed a mega milk molar, and the woodpile burgle chip went inside, and then ran away, grabbing some more raw science during my escape. I climbed up the side of the den, only to find even more raw science, and a milk molar under the tar. I headed back to the ravine and collected some lint from the glove on top with my newly acquired tier 3 axe. I also found some raw science on top of the glove. I dropped into the ravine to grab another milk molar. I made my way back to the picnic table to harvest a Billy Hog Nugget. 
I then headed back into the maze to grab some gum nuggets as these are really useful for making smoothies last a lot longer. I used my tier 3 axe to roll the 20 sided dice, getting a 20 and unlocking tier 2 of Coupe de Gras. Clearly, after obtaining this mutation, my luck was up as I killed a bee and got a gold card. You're joking. Not another one? I headed to the ant nest and stole an egg before collecting the milk molar that I had left behind at the start of the game. Day 29, I visited Burgle and gave him the wood pile chip we had collected. I then used some of our raw science to unlock quartzite jewels, flavoured jewels and pupa plates allowing me to upgrade my gear to levels 8 and 9. I then spent our milk molars on increasing my max health and max stamina yet again, and spent the megas increasing my max resource stack size. Since it had been a while, I decided to make a small expansion upon the base before crafting repair glue for the first time. I headed to the top of Rake Rock, where I was able to find some raw science and a scabby flying V. I jumped off the rock into the haze, equipping my gas mask mid-air and pulling out my glider at the last second, which prevented me from dying of fall damage. I got to the black ant lab and used the parkour skip to get in without the use of a bomb and then grabbed the raw science and loot from the chest. I killed all three Taze Ts before grabbing three granola bars. I scanned my hands to open the room and then proceeded to grab the raw science and kill the Taze T. I then interacted with the computer for clearance level A. I grabbed some more raw science and headed down into the storage room. I looted the chest and then headed over to the shelves to grab all the food, including four granola bars. I killed the final three Taze Ts before gaining clearance level B. I used one of the brat bursts I had found to break a cracked rock revealing a milk molar behind it. I then explored the bottom portion of the map, allowing me to collect some more raw science and another chest. I also collected another milk molar that was nearby. I used another one of the brat bursts I had found on a cracked rock, giving me access to another chest with even more bombs inside. I then used two more bombs to break through two more cracked rocks, allowing me to collect some raw science and unlock a room containing a mega milk molar. I collected another Mega Milk Molar from outside of the boss arena and then pushed the button, lifting the shutters. I bombed the glass, allowing me inside the arena. You thought I was going to fight the assistant manager. <laughs> I am flabbergasted. I headed back into the sand pit as it was night time and grabbed the melted moat key. I then went to the moat to unlock the chest, giving me a milk molar and the salt morning star recipe. While in the moat, I saw the wolf spider fighting an antlion, so I sat back, grabbed some popcorn and enjoyed the show. Somehow the antlion came out on top, but a few seconds later, I was really the one who came out on top, killing both and getting the loot from both of them. I then took out another antlion because these guys will appear out of nowhere and they will never leave you alone. I used the field station in the sand pit to boost my max health again before killing another antlion as I needed their parts for the armor and greatsword. I grabbed some raw science in the oasis, then used the field station to analyze the new antlion parts I had looted, unlocking a level 11 brain power. I crafted the antlion wide brim as day was quickly approaching and I didn't want to sizzle. I killed another two antlions grabbing even more parts. I then harvested an apple. Day 30. I made the antlion poncho providing me with further protection from the sun. I killed another antlion and was lucky enough to somehow unlock the gold card. I used my axe to kill the next antlion as my dagger had broken. I made a small storage basket in the oasis as I was running out of inventory space. I went into the sand castle and grabbed some raw science before digging up a buried treasure chest. I killed the antlion guarding it and another showed up. After killing both, I dug up the chest and got a plethora of loot, including some sunken bones to repair my dagger. I then found a second buried chest in the sandcastle, giving me even more amazing items. I now had enough parts to craft a full set of antlion armor, which would allow me to try and collect the charcoal again. I killed one of the pit antlions and looted him, revealing a secret underground tunnel. I killed the antlions in the tunnel and grabbed some salt along with the crusty roly-poly chestplate. I also found some raw science. I headed back to the basket and organized my inventory. I had to leave some stuff behind, but I would come back for it in the future. I then had to leave as I was about to dehydrate. 
Luckily, I found water with 45 seconds left to live. I safely made it home and slept, ending the day and this part of the series.